Know your equipment is the most important thing for every single DJ in the world. So in this Piney DJ CDJ 2000 Nexus 2 tutorial, I'm diving into the utility menu. In the utility menu are all the settings stored of the CDJ 2000 Nexus 2. I'll show you and explain to you every single item in the menu and how the player reacts to those settings. So a lot to talk about, let's take it away. The settings, by the way, you can program into the machine itself, but you can also program into Recordbox. And then when you export songs from Recordbox to your USB, those settings are copied onto your USB. When you insert the USB in the device, in the CDJ2000 Nexus 2, then it will ask you if it has to load those settings for you. You can access the utility menu on the CDJ2000 Nexus 2 by pressing the menu button for two seconds. Then a menu will appear. You can go through the different options by using the rotor button and you can enter a value by pressing the rotor button. So in this case, single, I want to change that to continue, turn the rotor and you can change the value. I can change that to continue and I enter the value by pressing the rotor again. Now the value is set. Personally, I like this to have on single. The play mode determines if your track that you're currently playing is stopping at the end of the track. If it says continue, then it will continue to the next track. The eject load lock, that means that your eject button is locked when you are playing a song. So you can't, for example, eject a disc while you're playing a song. You can set it to lock or unlock. I'd like to have that on unlock. The quantize beat value, what is the value that your quantize has to react to one beat? So it will round up to one beat or Will it have a, a, a half a beat, a quarter beat, or an eighth of a beat? You can't go any further than one eighth of a beat. The hot cue auto load. Does the CDJ has to auto load all the hot cues when you are loading in a song? When you switch that to off, you need to load the hot cues yourself by pressing the call button. Hot cue color. Uh, you can switch that to on or off. I have it on off. When I uh, enter a new hot cue, for example, I'm in hot cue bank number two, I want to set F with off, then you will see it has the same color for all the hot cues. I'll delete it. And when I have it on on, you will see that every hot cue has a different color. Then the auto cue level. You can switch that to different values. What if you have the auto cue enabled, so it cues a track automatically, it pauses a track automatically for you when you load in a new song. But at what level does it have to, to react? When is it silence? Uh, is it silence at minus 878 decibels or 66 or 45, 48, etc., 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 or the memory of a uh, of a track? Slip flashing. When you use the slip function, does it has to flash all the buttons? When I press the slip function, then you will see it will flash all the LEDs and when I have it on off, then it doesn't do anything. I'd like to have it on on so it will warn me that the slip function is enabled. On air display, that is the red ring that is around your jog wheel. When I switch it to off, then it will go white and it won't react to the positions of your fader. So you don't know which player are, is currently playing when the on-air display is off. I'd like to have it on on because it gives me a visual clue of which player is at this moment playing and which player is playing at the speakers right now. 
the jog brightness you can set the brightness of your jog wheel and uh, now it's on two but i can set it to one so it's less bright or i can set it to off so it doesn't illuminate at all i'd like to have it on uh, level number two the jog indicator is the indicator of the jog wheel when a track is at the end of a track for example i'm over here you will see this part of the display is flashing but also my jog wheel is flashing i can switch that to off and now my jog wheel stays lit I'd like to have that on on so I have a visual clue that my track is at the end of his track. Then next the disc slot illumination that is the illumination of your disc slot so for your CD you can set the level to off or uh, one if you want to. So the brightness of the LEDs that are lighting your disc slot. The language you can change that to another language I'd like to have it on English. History name, the player creates automatically a list with all the songs that you played. And what is the name of that list? It says history and you can change that if you want uh, to something else, his, for example. Um, for me, history is fine, his is also okay. Player name, uh, you see that it is grayed out now because I've connected it to Rekordbox. So I can't change the name, the number of the player. When my connection isn't there, I can change that to player one, three, two, whatever. The link status, you can't change that. Uh, it's connected or disconnected. The middle channel, you can use the CDJ2000 Nexus 2 as a controller for your DAW, for example, or other software. But at which MIDI channel does your software has to react? You can set that to channel 1, 2, 3 and up until 16. The digital out, does it have to be 16-bit or 24-bit? I'd like to have that on 24-bit so I have the maximum audio quality. That is the connection at the back of the CDJ2000 Nexus 2. Uh, auto standby. If you don't do anything with the machine, does it have to go to standby or not? The LCD brightness, I can change the brightness of the display if I want to. I'd like to have it on 5. The touch display calibration, I won't add that value because my touch screen is just fine. The screen saver, after I don't do anything with the player, does it have to dim the display? Yes or no? In this case, I said yes, so it's on. Duplication, I can duplicate the settings from this menu to another player. In this case, I can say I want to um, copy over all the settings from player one to all the other players. So if I have uh, three other players in my Pro DJ Link Connection system, then it will copy over all my settings to all the other players. But I can copy it over to player one only, or player three, or player four. I have only connected player two, so I can say I want to copy over all the settings to player two. And it says now in the display your settings were duplicated to player two. So I have the same settings on both players. And last but not least, the version number. You can't change that. What is the version number of the software, the firmware on your CDJ2000 Nexus 2? You can exit the utility menu by pressing menu. More CDJ2000 Nexus 2 tutorials in the special playlist. I will put up a link here in the end screen and also in the description below.